Good evening. This is Agashvani Kohima. I am Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. State governments consulted a meet with tribal hohos and organizations arrives at a consensus on issues of UCC, Forest Conservation Amendment Act 2023 and ULP. Nagaland Institute of Medical Sciences and Research, state's first medical college, inducts first batch of its 100 MBBS students. First Mithun Day celebrated to mark official recognition of Mithun as food animal by Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. And Centre constitutes committee to explore possibility of one nation, one election. Now the news in detail. Nagaland government will pass resolutions opposing Uniform Civil Code and Forest Conservation Amendment Act 2023 and introduce a new Nagaland Municipal Act in the upcoming Assembly. This was informed by State Government Spokesman and Minister Geiji Kenye to media persons of the State's consultative meetings with all tribal hohos and organisations on matters pertaining to ULP in Nagaland, Forest Conservation Amendment Act 2023 and UCC held today at the State Banquet Hall, Chief Minister's Residential Complex, Kohima. The state spokesman said a consensus was arrived at during the meeting on these three major issues that were docking the state. Kenya said that UCC and Forest Conservation Amendment Act were not acceptable to the people based on the constitutional rights guaranteed in Article 371A. To this, he said, the will of the people has stood out and the same will be taken up in the coming Assembly session and pass a resolution of the people through the State Assembly. On ULB election, the spokesman said, as the State Government had assured to bring out its own act, it is under preparation and the final draft will be prepared before the commencement of the Assembly. Kenya informed that all have more or less accepted the 33% women reservation in the ULP. Nagaland Institute of Medical Sciences and Research, NIM Mesa, Kohima, state's first medical college, today inducted the first batch of 100 MBBS students at NIM Mesar campus. 85 students from Nagaland and 15 students from all India were inducted. In his address as, as the special guest of the program, Nagaland Chief Secretary J. Alam said that with the establishment of NIM MSR, the commitment to address health care disparities in the state and health care accessibility by all will become a reality. Alam assured that the government is fully committed to provide all necessary support required by the college. He said a team of NIM MSR, led by Director Kam Dean, Dr. Somya Chakrapati, are the institution builders of the college. Alam said the students inducted will go down the history as the first batch students of the college. The Chief Secretary laid expectation that the faculty will serve and contribute for excellence of NIM MSR and hope that it will become one of the best medical colleges in the country. Alam said it is a bright moment for the whole state to finally witness the functioning of a medical college. He acknowledged the Chief Minister and the Health Minister of the state for taking personal interest and providing government's entire support to make the medical college a reality. Meanwhile, classes for the first batch of the MPPS students began today. Inauguration of the medical college will take place on 6th of this month. Nagaland Tourism Minister Demjan Imna Along, an advisor for Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Services, Kajeto Kinimi, today graced the first Mithun Day to celebrate the official recognition of Mithun as a food animal by the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, FSSAI, with effect from today. Speaking at a celebration held at Indian Council of Agricultural Research, ICAR, Janapani, Kinimi said, FSSAI's recognition of Mithun as a food animal will give an added boost to the Mithun farmers for all northeastern states. Ginimi loaded ICAR, National Research Centre for Contributing to the Official Recognition of Mithun as Food Animal. Minister Along, in his speech as the distinguished guest, highlighted the importance of ICAR and RCM in inspiring the Mithun farmers as it provides livelihood security. 
Along said he is proud of being a mitun farmer and encouraged other farmers to take up scientific mitun farming. During the program, M. Anita, app for information on mitun, was also launched. The centre has constituted a committee headed by former President Ramnath Govind to explore the possibility of one nation, one election. Speaking to media in Jaipur, Parliamentary Affairs Minister Prahlad Joshi said there is no need to get nervous as there will be discussions at different levels before it gets implemented. The minister highlighted that elections for Lok Sabha and State Assemblies were conducted simultaneously in 1967. This news comes to you from Akashwani Gohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIA News Gohima. MLA and advisor for school education and SCRT, Dr. Gekre Lole Yome, today formally inaugurated the implementation of critical diagnostic equipment donated by National Thermal Power Corporation, NTPC, as part of its Corporate Social Responsibility Initiative in Twensang District Hospital. Speaking on the occasion, Dr. Yome loaded the NTCP for their valuable contribution to the people of Nagaland in the field of generation of electricity, climate change and health sector. Chief General Manager of NTPC, Bungai Gaon, Karunakar Das said, NTPC holistically looks for the overall development in the area of health, sanitation, education and skill development. The project funded by NTPC through Investment and Development Authority of Nagaland is worth 80.94 lakh rupees. MLA and Advisor of Law and Justice and Land Revenue Nagaland T. N. Manan has requested the centre to consider a special dispensation for infrastructure funding for customary code construction at a village level as a centrally sponsored scheme. Manan yesterday met the Secretary of Law and Justice Ministry, SKG Rahate, in New Delhi and discussed extension of infrastructure development for customary courts in Nagaland villages under the Gram Nayalayas Act of 2008 as amended in 2019. Secretary assured that this request would be examined. Manan also reminded the Ministry about the need for a separate High Court for Nagaland. Earlier on Wednesday, Manan held discussion with the Union Secretary, Land Resource, Ministry of Rural Development, Ajay Durki, in New Delhi and discussed implementation of the digitalization scheme in Nagaland. The ministry officials expressed their readiness to visit Nagaland if necessary to assist in the effective implementation of digitalization scheme. Postmaster General Northeast to Som Game said that the department will be opening 70 new branch offices in Nagaland. He said the department is also going to set up Dakar Niryat Kendra at Woka, where parcels can be sent abroad in simpler ways. Game was speaking today as chief guest at the inaugural of a two day district philadelic exhibition. Woka Bex is being held at Don Bosco Higher Secondary School, Woka. He said the department is organising the exhibition in order to promote Philadelphia. In his speech, special guest Estio Civil Nuhuta Tuni said Postal Department plays a very important role in providing services to the people and is a backbone of the government. And in sports, Morong United FC emerged as the champion of the 8th Morning Premier League 2023. Playing the last league match at IG Stadium Gohima today, Morung United FC settled for a 2-2 draw against WELP Sporting Club, sharing a point each. The team lifted the league with 42 points, followed by Unity FC with 36 points of the 18 league matches. The league is being organised by the Morning Football Association. In an exhibition match played as part of the closing ceremony of MPL 2023, Morning Premier League Management Committee defeated Kohima Press Club 3-2. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. State government's consultative meet with tribal hohos and organisations arrives at consensus on issues of UCC, Forest Conservation Amendment Act 2023 and the ULP. 
Nagalin Institute of Medical Sciences and Research, state's first medical college, inducts first batch of its 100 MBPS students. First Mithun Day celebrated to mark official recognition of Mithun as food animal by Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. And centre constitutes committee to explore possibility of one nation, one election. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.